Show that can match it. How to name another show that can match it? Everybody from classy to ratchet. He fans like Jamal keep the flame alive. Dennis Lee got the Lake Show locked in five. The Dub K to Augusta GA. Talk everything from NBA to anime. Chat like homies or debate like enemies. It's all fun and games. Just match my energy. Just match my energy. Just match my energy. Yeah. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to episode 35 of the Match My Energy podcast. It's your boy, Dennis Lee, a.k.a. Dino Fit Dennis. Hey, it's your boy, Jamal, JC2 Bless. Man, we are back at it. Another week. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> how you feeling, man? How you feeling? Another week gone by? Yeah, man, it's been cool. Uh Sure. A lot of it's been busy season, you know, a lot of weddings, baby showers, all this. Like my sister's about to have a baby like any day now, you know. Uh so you know, been working on that. Um I mean in the gym, of course, uh getting new clients in, trying to get that back up, having some clients fall off, but that's how life go, you know. So you yeah. don't expect everybody to be here forever. Yeah, so you know, you get it. I mean, it's been fun. It's been you know, it's been cool. Uh, how's it been for you? Not too bad, man. Uh, you know, work is work. Uh, ramping up a little bit. So, um, yeah, especially going into the later months. Uh, you know, wrapping up that quarter and stuff like that. Uh, this weekend though, we going out of town. Uh, going to Phoenix. So more to come out of that. Uh, that's kind of okay. going to that. Uh, while I was leading you guys on last episode of like, hey, I got something coming up. Can't we talk about it? So still can't talk about it till I get there. But uh, right. I'm going to try to, uh, I bought uh, a phone stabilizer. Uh, it's it's not a GoPro, but I'm going to be recording some stuff, kind of blogging a little bit while I'm out there. I'm going to try to bring that either through the podcast or just have like a little mini series that I'll put on the channel. Um, that people can see and walk through. I gotta see how I'm gonna do that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do like a a voiceover since I ain't gonna have the mic. Since it's just myself going out there, um, I won't be having nobody like extra record me, interact with people. So I might just be uh uh free balling on it with the mics and just use the mic from the the, the phone. But I might if it gets too bad, I might do voiceovers and uh, what you call it captions and yeah. stuff like that. So um, okay. But yeah, that's that's over there. Um, uh, it is gonna be sneaker related, but um uh should be a good trip over time. My first time in Phoenix, so leave there this weekend, so that's upcoming. Um I gotta get haircut and all that kind of stuff. So you know, you know, <laughs> gotta get wearing a hat right now, but you know, right, come this right. weekend, it's coming. you know. I don't know that the hat gonna be needed. I don't know, Phoenix hot, so I might still have to wear one, but um, sure. I was only there one time. I was only in Phoenix one time. And the one time I was there, I got into a roasting session with uh, Terrell Suggs. <laughs> what? The old linebacker for the Ravens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. We just roast, we just roast each other in the airport. And then he was like, man, you funny, man. Afterwards, we just like dapped it up. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like another random. story. Sound like right, another random. story. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, I'm being famous, so maybe I run into like Kevin Durant or somebody like that, Devin Booker. You know, have me a little LeBron story so we could put it back on the pod or something like that. All right, hopefully uh, it's chill. Hopefully it's chill. Either way. Yeah, yeah. I say, like, hey, do y'all just mind? So if I'm blogging, I'm like, I already get that clip on. Um, right. But you know, this is wishful, wishful thinking, especially with the season not started I think they got like a couple more weeks to a training camp, so they probably not even in Phoenix at this time anyway. So may not even be in America. True. Sure. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> but that's pretty much it. Then I watch the car and stuff all that, you know, that's my when I talk about my day of life is always boring. It's always like errands, watch the car, haircut, might take a trip here or there. Uh but I'm doing that this uh afternoon watching the car. Get everything else. Huge accomplishment. She is paid off. I pay her off on Friday. 
So that's okay. Amen. So yes, sir. Um, you know, I'm still working on adoption papers. So, you know, it takes like four, <laughs> four, four, four to six weeks to get in the mail. But once I get that, oh, I'll yeah. have that have that to my name so that's that's a, a huge accomplishment at first i was like you know it is what it is but i think it's huge especially if something you've been you know having or paying off for a minute so and she has less than a hundred thousand miles on her too so it's, it's a lot of life so oh yeah okay and then i was also mm. looking for other cars i know it's it's crazy as soon as i pay this up now i started looking for other cars right. I, i'm not really right. looking for i ain't looking to get one i'm just like when the time comes I want to go ahead and know what I'm looking for. I want to be like, well, let's explore everything. So right. um, I know I've mentioned to you about the Audis and stuff. I really like them, but it's just the maintenance and stuff on it. And they was like, somebody oh, I know. With the parts. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, and I'm a huge tech person. I know I'm in the technology. So I'm like, I don't know if that's going to be like the inside of it is amazing. But the upkeep of it, I'm not sure if it's going to be something I'm a. Dude, I'm about ready to get I, back into an Impala or something. I ain't even going to lie. Yeah, I know. I'm about, I'm about if I had an Impala, dude. I think I would. I mean, I would probably get another one. If I, if I had like if I could trade one up at this point, I would I would trade up mm-hmm. a little bit just to get like uh. I already want the car play. I that's the one thing I miss for my car is the car play stuff. But and I was yeah. gonna upgrade the uh the screen and all that for it, but I, like, I ain't putting no more money, no more money in that car. So, um, but yeah, man, I don't know. Maybe like the Honda Core Sport. I like the kids. Uh, Stinger, I like that. I was looking at some Cadillacs, but I was like, I don't see myself. I always, I always see hey, like, Cadillacs. Like, they be kind of cool, man. And the newer ones are fire. I just saw a new one. They had a, uh, a SUV. It's not a huge one, but it had this thirty-three inch dash screen. It's yeah. crazy. I'm gonna see you a video of it. Uh, but every time I see the Cadillac logo with those multiple colors, mm-hmm. I know I know it sound weird, but. It just reminds me of an old white person driving that car. Every time I see that logo, <laughs> I just cannot get by that. <laughs> That's the only yeah. thing. It's like, it sounds, every time somebody, is, uh, except if it's Escalade. Escalade is always like, yeah, anybody could probably drive that one. But anything mm-hmm. else, I'm like, feel like an old white person driving that car. I'm trying to tell you, the new ones is, I don't know, man. They kind of trying to make it for everybody now. So, we'll see, man. We'll see. Yeah, y'all speaking got any, of trading up. If y'all got any recommendations before you start, uh, if y'all got oh, any yeah. recommendations on cars that we should look into, affordable and reliable. And for me, a little bit techie inside. Just, just a little, I can't have no, you know That's saying? real. I got a little yeah. some sun in my car already, so I got to move up a little bit with it. So, um, but yeah. Like I'm there. Yeah, man. Uh, well, before we get into it, uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, um, share, um, you know, tell a friend, tell a friend um, about the show, you know, match my energy. We definitely trying to get it up. Um, but yeah, man, we definitely like to hear from our supporters. You know, thank you all for rocking with us so far. Um, uh, that being yeah. said. One second. Mm-hmm. I'm tired, y'all. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> we have asked. <laughs> we have asked nicely. Now I'm gonna come at you with another stage above. This is this above a little bit of energy, but I ain't gonna okay. I ain't gonna match it. I ain't gonna put up to the max. Y'all need to comment and subscribe. Comment and subscribe, mm. share. I mean, I get these text messages, I get stuff in the DMs, but we need to see that visually. You know what I'm saying? Like we gotta see it on oh, the, yeah. on the post. You know, get the subscribe count stuff. You know what I'm saying? We trying to. We're trying to build yeah, share it, it share it on your story and tag both of us, and we'll share and we'll share it on ours. We'll share them all on our page and everything like that. Right. We do these shout outs. Yeah. Y'all shout outs out. <laughs> right. So that's a, a non-aggressive version. You know, we're gonna keep stepping it up if we don't see improvement in this area. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard because I'm not really an angry person, so I can't really <laughs> I'm right, still right, doing, right. It's like I've been working thing. on myself. Listen, I've been working on myself. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying it's to. Like, I'm not even an aggressive person, so trying to be aggressive is like it's hard. But you know, I'm gonna say it with yeah. a nice face, with a smile on my face. But deep down, just know I'm on y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna work on, and I've been working on myself, so I ain't gonna be aggressive as I as I used to be. Nah, I need past. I need Dennis to come back out. <laughs> gonna, we get episode forty, and we ain't get no improvement. I'm gonna have yeah, I'm gonna have him go off. Right. 
All right, I'll pull it out at 40. If y'all, I'm going to have, I'm gonna have the whole screen blacked out, and it's going to be him by himself. <laughs> 30 minutes, a- <laughs> give y'all the business. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't need this to move around, or, you know. At least yeah. your supporters, man. At least just show me, show me you mess with me a little bit, you know? Right. Uh, for my endorphins. <laughs> <laughs> We don't even care about nobody, nothing like that. Just, you know, let us know. Right, uh, right. But yeah, man, but one thing we've been for real been trying to talk about, we knew we, we was going to talk about, so we'll get it right. Right first, uh, it was a big trade. Dame That's Dollar, right. Damian Lillard. First off, he put, out a pro- he put out a project. It was actually pretty fire. I'm not going to lie. Uh, he put out a new project. That was pretty fire, but that's not what we're talking about right now. Uh, he got traded from... The Blazers that he's been with for so many years what was that like eleven or thirteen something like that. Um, yeah, I think eleven. And to the Milwaukee Bucks, y'all, we've been talking about the Bucks for so long. Every year we look at them like, oh yeah, they going, they going to the finals, and something happened, whatever. Now, and here's the part, and I and I'll go ahead and speak for my bro right now. There's been so many rumors. So many times, every time, you know, they keep getting their hopes up. But Damian Lillard was the big one that was supposed to be going to the Heat. We've been hearing dang to the Heat, dang to the Heat over and over and over. So, you know, y'all know, y'all know he's been getting excited. Y'all know he's been, you know, uh, hit me up, this and that. And it was funny. So this is, y'all, this is my point of view. I'm chilling. I'm doing, you know, I'm doing my thing, you know. <laughs> I'm chilling. Next thing I know, I get a text. I get a text from Jamal. He's like, yo, did you see the news? <laughs> and I'm like, and I, know, I know that's how he said it, too. I know he was, I know it was elevated. That's what I'm saying. It was a text, but I know how he came at me. So did you see the news? I'm like, like I said, y'all, I'll be in my own world sometimes. Nah, what news? Before I could, I was, I was like, hold on, let me check. That's all I think I said that. I was like, hold on, let me check. Yep. Before I even got to an app, uh, Frequent listener of the show, my boy Mike. He texts me. He go laugh at this too. He was like, <laughs> he just sent me the article. Damian Lillard to the to the Bucks. Yo, I was like, yo, that's gonna be a tough squad. I just sent, text him back. Was like, yo, that's gonna be a tough squad. But sorry for your loss. Because <laughs> Mike Mike is also he fans. Look at the time mark. Yeah. I get it. Like, like from my non-biased point of view, I'm like, listen, he ain't go to the Lakers. I know you, you know, I want as far as we want everybody on the Lakers, but I wasn't seeing it happen. So from my non-biased, just watching the league, watching the business of the game, I'm just like, hmm, looks like a good little, looks like a good little trade. Okay, they could have a good squad. Giannis will actually have a chance without having to give up his brothers. But then I thought, uh oh. So with that. How you feeling about this? Go ahead and tell the people, man. So you say you got wide receivers, you got DBs, quarterbacks. I might have to switch to football. This is crazy. <laughs> I might have to switch to football. Deion going crazy in college football, so I might have to just go ahead and rock with them. You know, let me go ahead and buy me a football first time ever in life. Um, <laughs> buy some gloves, cleats. Y'all, I, have, y'all I, never, I never own a football. I would go and buy a football. <laughs> do y'all remember this man didn't know what a quarterback was two episodes ago? A this corner. Man, a man, corner. He, yeah, not yeah, quarter. He, didn't what, he didn't know what a quarterback was. <laughs> oh, I'm locking receivers up. I don't care. I'm locking receivers up now. <laughs> After it is. But, bro. Yes, bro. Actually, who broke the news to me, which I'm yeah. also mad about, is Julius. Uh, me and Julius in the group chat, all three of us in the group chat. He yeah. called me from work. I was at work. He was Hilarious. like, he was like, hey, did you hear the news? I said, what's the news? Dane to Milwaukee. I said, no, no, no. I ain't no Dane to Milwaukee. One, I'm since I ain't work, I wasn't on my phone as much. So I was like, I ain't see no notifications. Oh, yeah. I, was, yeah. On, I yeah. was on Instagram on the feed, so I ain't got no feed that says it. So I was like, I ain't got no notification. ESPN and Sports Center. None of them came out with nothing yet. So I was like, bro, stop messing around. What this you is- talking about? Yeah. Thursday or Friday? Thursday? I don't know. But um, 
I was like, bro, stop, stop it. I ain't, I, I ain't trying to hear it right now. I think it was maybe Tuesday. I don't know. It was early in the week. Um, mm-hmm. um so yeah. Looked up there, woes announced. I was like, man, woes, bro. Just keep some shit silent. You ain't gotta say everything. You know what I mean? Like uh, <laughs> once I see it from Woes, I, you know, it's confirmed. So I say, yeah, right. bro, that's happening. And here's the deal. This is the um I'll tell y'all the whole um what you call it, the whole packages, and y'all can we we'll, we we'll dissect it as well. But from my point of view, BS only because three months we have waited three months. To make a deal, it seemed like no other teams was interested. The bus completely blindsided us with this one. Um, mm-hmm. They also had a, a a trade package on the on the table. It was going to be Tyler Hero, which I saw this, which you know this stuff that comes to us. But since it's indoor stuff, we don't know if it's actually legit. But to me, this would be to me it's, it's feasible. I think it was going to be Tyler right. Hero going to San Antonio, mm. and. Uh, I forgot who the Blazers were going to get. I think the Blazers were going to get um, Ben Simmons or somebody from Brooklyn. Brooklyn was involved in this one. All teams was a go, but Brooklyn, uh, but uh, Portland did sign off on it. So they was like, no, we don't want it. And I was they, like, did, they purposely didn't want him to go to the Heat for some reason. They were like, no, we don't want you to be happy, basically. Yeah. and I, They kept they doing think, that. To me, I also think they don't want Tyler Hero. I think that was a big thing. Or they wanted more from mm. it. I, either they want, hey, I want Tyler, but I want you know, eight other people as well. Or they just was like, I just don't want Tyler at all. So, yeah, man. So, that was a deal. But the Bucks received Dane, of course, you know, all-star, mm-hmm. three-point shooter, one of the best point guards. So I'll, I'll give him top two right now. But I got Stam and him, Steph and him, uh, best point guard. Argue with your mama. Um, Blazers. <laughs> no matter at it. Uh, the Blazers are getting Drew Holiday, so you know the Bucks lose him. DeAndre Aiden from the Sun, you know, I think All Star caliber center. I, I think he, if he gets that motivation, you know, that battery in his back, I think he can, I think he can do it. My opinion. Um, <laughs> uh, Kamara, I don't, so. I don't know his name, uh, and then they got some picks and some some picks from the Bucks, and then the Suns have Nurkic uh, from uh-huh. the Blazers, Grayson Allen, uh, Nasir. Uh, Little and Keon Johnson, so I don't know those other names, but Nurkis, you know, people are saying is a really good center, which I think he is. Uh, he yeah. injury prone. Like That's the only only thing I don't um, care for. He's injury injury prone, but um, but yeah, honestly, what what center isn't? Yeah, I think the Suns and Blazers actually made out on the deal. Oh, everybody made out on the deal, really, but for the most part, the assets they got back for losing people, I think that was a a pretty good trade, honestly. If my team wasn't like if they if Dame never said Miami or Miami wasn't even on the board, I would have been like, "This right. is a great trade." But since we was just so in the league, like y'all see, man, I had to leave my comfort of my area. I hey, all that Miami stuff in that room, I gotta leave. I couldn't even be there. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't even be there. I can't be surrounding myself. I can't. I ain't got no Miami. Nothing though. I, I can't. I can't. I can't be around with that energy today. So. um I got to let this simmer down just a little bit longer. You know, it still hurts. Dang should be one of us. We should have a mm-hmm. big three right now. Um, we'll see. I mean, hopefully they don't go far. I mean, but yeah, bro, it hurts. It hurts being a Heat fan, especially we've been the last couple uh, of seasons. Tyler Hero, one of, you know, he's been a pretty good young star, honestly. But he's been in the trade packages for the last three seasons. We messed out on trying to get Kevin Durant, Bradley Bill, if he wanted to come, uh, James Harden. Uh, it's, it's a number of people. But those are, you know, the, the main people. And then, of course, Dane right now. So, and he's been a trade package in all of them. So, I'm like, man, do we really want to bring back somebody we've been having right. on a trade package for the past three seasons? Like, bro, how does that feel? Like, somebody, you go to work. Like, do y'all even really want you. me? Yeah, yeah. somebody go to trade you. Hey. Hey, we got this new employee from a new business unit. He's going to try to come in. You know, he's, you know, he's proven, man. You know, he got all these accomplishments. So, you know, we're going to ship you out. We're going to trade y'all spots. Oh, no, no. Another business unit won him, so he's going there. So we're going to we'll keep you now. 
which I need you to work yeah. hard and still produce the numbers in the playoffs and all that. Man, that's crazy. So, um, the only light I see under you know in the tunnel would be trying to go for try to steal Drew Holiday from the Blazers, but I feel like it's bad blood. Um, uh, business Blazers lines with them with Heat, not. so mm-hmm. um, because we can get pretty. They're trying to get rid of him. They're trying to build young with the Blazers. So I feel we can get Drew Holiday for like two two draft picks and maybe Kyle Lowry just for the expiring contract piece of it. Um, right. I I feel like it. And then also trying to get Buddy Hill from the Pacers. They're looking for a trade. Get a you know a bona fide three point shooter. Um, that one I can see them trying to go for Tyler Hero or even maybe Duncan Robertson swap with them too. So maybe. Shooter mm-hmm. for shooter for that, but you know okay. that's the only light I can see. I really want Drew Holiday because you gonna trade me. I was just an all star for you guys last year. Y'all gonna trade that's me crazy. defense Man. and offense. I know we struggled against Miami, goddamn, uh, <laughs> in the in the playoffs. But like, come on now. True. So I was like, he gonna want that get back. So I'm like, it's better to do it right now. I don't want to do the mid season trade. I don't want to do it two years later. I'm like, if he was get on it now. And of course, mm-hmm. all these teams play on the uh, NBA and they have their playbooks. But I'm not saying, okay, now we have the entire playbook. What are they gonna do? But it's gonna be nice to have some type of insight as well into that organization as well. Um, True. When it comes to honors and stuff like that. So, but that's my spiel. I know I kind of took up some time on that, but um, but with it, but with it, man. Like so, now we're seeing Giannis and Dame. That's a big. I mean, of course, you still got Middleton, but yeah, he's declining too. Yeah, he's declining. I mean, but I still know that he can be a threat, and it takes a little bit of pressure off. Um, of course, it'll make him like a third option, but being able to catch and shoot, you know, um, play play decent defense. Hey, let's get it, you know. So with that, they looking like uh, to me. I feel like they're probably going to be one of the better duos or the best duo in the league now. I know I'm supposed to have my Laker bias, you know, and say the LeBron and AD, but A, we're talking about a 40-year-old LeBron. Of course, he's still top tier. He should at least be in MVP talk every year, honestly. Um, But also, how are you supposed to be a formidable duo if one of your guys always in street clothes? Thanks. You know, with the with the AD. So, you know, there, there's there's certain things to that that make you not want to put rank them as high. Even though I know if they're both firing on both on all cylinders, you don't stop that. But that leads me to ask, who you got in your top five duos? That's tough. That's tough. Um. Are we just gonna do just five in general? Or are you gonna try to actually rank them? Uh, okay, we'll start off just five okay, in general, man. and then yeah, first we'll start off five in general, and then we'll kind of where you want to put them. All right, all right. Let me uh, let me look up something real quick. Five for sure. Bam and Jimmy. I'm putting them in my top five. Sorry, we've been to the finals. <laughs> we've been to the finals, conference finals. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Yeah. Uh, if you, you put the whole body work now, the regular season might be eh, but we put in the playoffs that we we are bona fide, we could bang with the you know, whoever. You know, mm-hmm. so I gotta put them in there. Um <sighs> I hate to say it, Celtics, not a Celtics fan at all, but Brown and Tatum, gotta put them in there. Uh top five. I feel like, you know, as far as like production wise, both of them can produce on a high level it can be i don't know if they game complements each other where they can be on at the same time on at the at the same time like right at the like on the court at the same time i don't know if that complements the game the way it should but um if one person's lacking the other one can come on so i feel like you know for them to it it works for the Celtics. i don't know why uh i felt like after they lost to us which, you know, last season we went through a lot of people. Um, but I think after they lost us, I think they should have broke it up that duo, honestly. But uh, for yeah. right now, they both, you know, 20, 25 points a game can get, easily get it done. Both of them get a pay, big payday. So um, I got them. They better. They better. They better step I got them up. in the top five. 
<sighs> These are all bit bittersweet stuff, but um, Dame and Giannis, of course. I think that's mm-hmm. gonna be one of the one of the best, if not the best duo right now. Right now, even though we haven't um uh, seen them play, I think once we see them play, I think people man, it's gonna be like made up at that point. That pick and roll will be the absolute dominant thing you will see in NBA this season. There's <laughs> nowhere to guard mm. that pick and roll because you go with the roller, it's a done deal with Giannis. You're getting done with Dane. For sure. With Dane, you leave him open, you mess up. And then Giannis was strong. He'd take your two bodies already with him. So he could right. do that slip like a. Uh, I don't know how how Steph does it with Draymond. That little slipping is a little second. Oh, that slip shoot. screen, yeah, yeah. Like mm-hmm. he, they can do that all day. Um, so that's gonna be dangerous. That third one. And now, and now, I think Giannis also has a like. Now he can actually play stronger in the post basketball, you know, because you have Dame out there to take care of the three and mid and all that. Like, yeah, now he can literally honestly, sit down there. Hand me the ball. Let me let me hit my spin move and dunk. Uh, Magic cream like. Yeah. Um, yeah. But honestly, with Dame there, Giannis, you should take 10 threes the entire season. I mean, you shouldn't take you shouldn't be taking no more threes like that. With Dame there, you have other and middle on the team. Like yeah. you should it's no running up and just you know chugging up a three. That is not your role. You shouldn't even be doing that this season. That's my take on that, but um it's real. Oh man, that's tough on other duels. I'm okay, I'm gonna take it over to Phoenix. I always talk about it. I'm gonna take it over there. I still think Devin Booker and KD, I think I think that was a huge, huge offseason thing, but we just, you know, it's kind of overlooked right now. So um Nah, that's that's real. Well, like no, yeah. it wasn't really off season. It was Bradley Beal over there, but so they really got a trio. But uh, I still think uh, as them two as the main two over there. So I'm gonna mm-hmm. still, yeah. I'm gonna still rock with them as a duel. Uh, I think Devin Booker is gonna lead that team to something great, um, record wise in the regular season. But I don't know about the playoffs. I still the defense and them being so top heavy. I think it might be, might be some issues over there when they come down to the playoffs. Um, and that's my fourth one. <clears throat> LeBron James and AD, I gotta put them in there. I don't know why. I think it's one of those like don't go by, don't go uh, against LeBron James, King James, right? AD, right. like you said, street clothes. You know, when healthy, still productive, a monster. So, you know, yes. another team very good defensively. I, I can't you know completely rock with, but LeBron for sure. Um, yeah, I'm also yeah. He he definitely gonna. I think they're gonna be a great duo as well. Um, if nothing else, LeBron's gonna be do everything to stop uh Curry to get another ring. That's what I feel like. If nothing else, mm. if he doesn't get another ring, Curry and the boys cannot get another one. Cause you just, yeah, just have, knock them out in the semis or something like that. Knock them out yeah, in the first. Now they have five. Yeah. Four or four. Four. Four and four. Four. Yeah, remember because. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm saying, but if they win again, they'll have five. Oh yeah, yeah. Both so that'll be more than Bron. So that yeah. was like to me, Bron's like, we gonna either, you know, be completely equal in our championship, but we ain't about to be. You ain't about to overlap me because then get one over, the Bron yeah. era is something completely different, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. but yeah, man. Well, who you got? Who you thinking of top five oh, duels? Sure. All right, so I've been going in my head, trying to think about this. And I'm going a little bit different. Uh, of course, I'm going, I'm excited to see how this will look. So, of course, I'm going to just early and just throw it out. Giannis and Dane. Right. That's, yeah, you know, um, not say too much on that. We already kind of both talked about that. And then I'm going to go, I like, I like what you said with Devin Booker and KD. I would still consider that a, a good little duo, you know. Um, and even though like the height difference is extra crazy, like I still look at that like a new age. I don't want to say it's gonna get too much slack, but like a new age, like Mike and Pippen, like they both score, they both, you know what I'm saying? Like they both mm. are two, but I'm not gonna call it like I'm not saying that he Mike or whatever and he Pippen, but yeah, like yeah. it's kind of that on that type of vein. Yeah. Um, 
of course, I got to stick with my people, you know, as much as I I don't know about it. Um, LeBron and AD, so when they healthy, they have a problem. Um, and then, I, I mean, I don't want to lose the uh, respect for, you know, the boys in Denver. Uh, mm. Jokic and Murray. I'm going to say Jokic and Murray is a good little duo. Um, I can't say that yet. Yeah. I can't say it right now. Well, I, they're a good deal. I'm just saying, as a Heat fan, I just can't say nothing about them right now. No, that's that's real. That's real. <laughs> that's why I hate talking about stuff like this. When you yeah. like, die hard, I'm gonna like, eh. that's like yo, I literally I'm try to pull my right brain now. back. I said, I don't want to talk about them right now. No, I like, we didn't have a hard back. season, bro. It's a hard yeah. season, all season, bro. It's yeah. crazy. Nah. And only people we got it. We got as Lakers is like. I need a whole episode. That's real. Yeah, we got a lot. We get a longer. Longer to talk about all this stuff. We gonna really go in, but man, we we only thing we they're like, oh wow, we, y'all made some good signings, did we? But whatever, I, I don't want to. I think so, but whatever. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, look, honestly, please, please shit. prove me wrong. Please prove me wrong, please. Y'all got my boy Gabe. Love... <laughs> yeah, finals yeah. experience. Yeah. It's the Lakers. It's the Lakers. We we are finals. You know what I'm saying? Like it's now you sound like Julius. Okay. It's the okay. we got yeah, you were there before, you know. So was <laughs> Tyler Hero. Six man. But yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. I ain't about to go on. <laughs> yeah, no. So I think what was that five? Was that five? Uh I think it's four. That was four. That was four. Okay. Um, so yeah. I want one more. Um, well, Steph and Clay. No. <laughs> Steph and Clay. Steph and Clay. I, you get them both. Let them let them get their mom right. I've been seeing Steph been training super hard, getting, you know, I just I'm not ready to just count them out. Like they yeah. they still them all time greats, shooters, uh, you know. What you gonna do? You know, um I, mean, I, I think so, yeah. I mean I mean I like the Warriors team. I just don't mm-hmm. like them as a duo anymore. And that's just me being whatever. Cause the, to me, I feel like Steph is definitely himself still. He can still produce yeah. numbers and incredible. But Clay has stepped that st- took a step down after the injuries and stuff oh. like that. Especially yeah. officially the, which made him more versatile. So I'm like, I'm like, right now I would put more of a Steph and Wiggins duo over a Clay. Because Clay, I mean, Wiggins did his thing in the you know the playoffs and the finals when they win. True, back. true. Um, or even Steph and Draymond. It sounds kind of dumb, but honestly, if you really watch the NBA, if you really watch these games, Draymond's not like a slouch with it. I mean, the fact that he sets up Steph so much to get open with the way he sets screens, his defensiveness, the way he, you know, just disrupts the, the other team's offense. Mm-hmm. Sets up and makes play, so you could almost argue that it's even Steph and Dre over Steph and Clay. Mm. See what you so. there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Trying to get bored. Oh, no, yeah, so. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Okay. So let's uh, let's try to rank them. Okay, you didn't mention Bam and Jimmy. I know. What are what are your gripes with them? Ah, uh, man. I'm afraid to say it, but it might, it might, okay. Whether we chat uh, like bros. Whether we <laughs> chat like bros. You said they ain't really like that. They ain't really like that. Okay, let me see. I do, all right, man. Dang. And I know it's been I know it's been longer than like like those players that have those breakout little moments. Mm-hmm. I'm really trying, I really hope he proves me wrong. But I personally feel like Jimmy Butler's kind of like having a moment. Mm. So, and even Bam, like, I mean, I don't see them having like a long range, like five, seven, like we're scared of the heat type of feel. Like we are, like what players are with like, oh, shoot, we got the Warriors or back in the day, or like we got the like, or we got like, LeBron come in, you know, that type of thing. Like, oh, don't let LeBron lock in. Like, I don't really think people feel that with Jimmy. I mean, maybe, like, if he makes it all the way to the to the finals, then, oh, shoot, okay. But 
I don't know. They just don't look scary to me. It just kind of feels like, oh, that's the hard nose. He reminds me of that 04 Pistons. Mm-hmm. He doesn't remind me of, I don't know, 2016 LeBron. No, I, I feel you on that. I think we need to get to the point where people are scared. Because um, I think right now it's like we know it's going to be a hard fought game, but we can come yeah. on top. That's the feeling that people got when they come play or go against Miami. Even mm-hmm. though I would say uh, we have been proven going to the finals, conference finals, always in the mix it has, coming in. Yeah. This is the last four four seasons with them two being the leading uh, contributors. So to me, I was like, and we, I mean, we just didn't get that recognition as well, just being Miami. Being real, it's kind of like Denver a little bit in the fact that nobody was oh. really, people know it's going to be a hard game and everything like that, but nobody was really like, oh, I'm scared to play Denver. Now they want a ring, and now people put a little bit more respect on their name. I feel like if we just won a ring in the last the two finals we went to, one of those, I think we get a little yeah. more respect. Might not more, not as much being feared still, but we get a little bit more respect on that doing what we got going on. But I definitely feel what you're saying because you know that's what people feel like we will be under the radar until we get to the finals and be like, where did this come from? We never saw this, so it's kind of how how our team kind of goes, bro. So yeah. I thank you for your honest opinion. I'll be sending that over to Jimmy and his uh his team. Um, hey, it's just hard for me to take them some, serious, uh, man. I'll be wanting to, but it's just it's tough, man. We just was in the finals. How much serious? I guess we gotta win. That's the thing. We gotta win. It's 30 yeah. teams. We it's two people, two teams got to the finals. Look yeah. who we just went through. Yeah, but I mean, at the same time, see, you know, injuries, like all that kind of stuff people are saying. So it's like, I know I I know both sides. That's the only thing. I know both sides. And on top of that, I'm not that impressed with the Celtics, if I'm being honest. If I'm being honest. I'm, and it's not even like on some like Laker, Laker love, Celtic hate type stuff. No! Breaking it's news! Like, Breaking news! Breaking news! <laughs> no! It might be. It may be that. But like, man, like Jalen Brown, man, really dis- has been disappointing me. Like, Talk about Jason the Tatum. We got breaking news. A notification came in. Sorry. Oh, Talk shoot. Talk about the Celtics. Live. This was live. Live. <laughs> Trailblazers oh, are sending Drew Holiday to the Celtics. What the? No. No. Bro, that's hey, a huge well, win for them. Who are they giving up, though? Crazy, I man. Just, Nobody want to go to Miami? Well, they got bad blood, so maybe that's the reason. But come on, man. Miami can't do nothing, man. Well, I'll take Michael Jordan sure. right now off the bench. Come on. I'm going to get somebody. That made no sense, bro. See, so, yeah, I... I don't oh, they, know. They're I, trading Robert Williams. What? That's center? That's what? Dang. And Malcolm Brogdon and a first-round pick. Dang, that's a lot. What I was saying, I was like two person. Oh, yeah, God. I see it. <laughs> I see it now, yep. Robert with okay. Well, I'm surprised to get, first round. I'm surprised they gave up Robert Williams because they also gave up Grant Williams as well. So it's like you only got a, a injured or injury prone Pazingas and whoever. So I'm like I forgot he was over there now. Robert, yeah, I know. Robert Williams was a huge plus. They was talking about like um they would beat us in that series because they could pay bully ball in the paint, which they did, but yeah. Ain't this yeah, crazy, bro? We just talking about this. Like, this is crazy. Why we can't get nobody, bro? Mm. That's See. the person on the list. Come on, buddy. Hill. Come yeah, on. you literally Please. just said one that. more person. Can I get one hey, prediction I, honestly, right? Honestly, I think you almost got to stop saying it out loud. That's the crazy part. <laughs> exactly. That's the crazy part, man. Bro, See I'm like, I, we I, can't I, get nobody. It's, bro. Yeah. It's like we really have to draft well. That's the only, the players that we have now are all been drafted or undrafted players from Miami besides Jimmy. Everybody else has yeah. been a drafted person that we developed or undrafted person that we picked up. That's absolutely incredible. Like it's and, insane. And, yeah. And uh, what's his name? Kyle. Fuck Kyle. <laughs> I don't give a damn about Kyle. <laughs> I'm so tired of him. Oh, I'm like, oh, nothing. You know what? Just wave him. Pay him and leave. I don't care. I don't want him on. A, I don't want him on the team no more. I'm so Man. mad right now. 
Let me wash my mouth. Dang. That's, but yeah, man, I don't know, man. Like, honestly, I... So, yeah, I... Like, I don't know. I can't put... I mean, and also, I don't know why I just... Maybe it's just me, like, always sleeping on the... uh, Always sleeping on the East Coast. Maybe that's... That could be that. True. Ain't a complete one, man. Oh, wow, but it's all been West Coast teams. Maybe that's, maybe that's it. Maybe that's just me sleeping on the West Coast, on the East Coast. But, like, I don't really... I'm not gonna put the Celtics up high. I mean, I don't even see them lasting, honestly. Like, if, Is it what? I don't even see them lasting, honestly. Like, I could see there being a trade where Brown leaves or something. Oh, well, they just paid him handsomely, so that's what I'm saying. Stuff. Right now, I, it would have happened before they paid him, I think. But you know, people still get paid and leave anyway. But um, yeah, man, I don't know. Damn. Yeah. So okay, let's do who you put as your top duo then. Top duo this year, and even though we haven't seen it, I'm going Giannis and Dame. I'm on the I'm on the hype train. I'm on the hype train. Yeah, well, choo choo, because I'm on there as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be way too dominant, bro. I think it's gonna be to yeah. the point where it might be two uh, K esque. How we look at the oh game. yeah, it's gonna be like, looking crazy. And they both be scoring like on, forty, bro. And then you yeah. got uh, Bobby and. Brooke Lopez, they got a good, they, yeah. got a really, they got a really good five. I would say that a really good five, a solid five all around. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, they can fill out that bench a little bit more. Um, or maybe the bench is already set. Maybe they step up. Um, yeah. I'll definitely see a number one team again in the East. <laughs> Don't see nobody battling that. Now, you know, somebody we did talk about, which we may mm. have two is two teams. Philly, how do we feel about Embiid and Harden potentially still rocking? They, I that's gonna be a mess. I don't, I don't even care about that right now. Like they're, they're, it's been a mess in the off season. They're not going, you know. Harden's like, I don't, I want, I don't even want to be here. Blah blah. Embiid, yeah, he's MVP, right? Yeah, yeah. he's MVP, right, but it's yeah. just kind of like. That's a, that's the thing. Like, it's not even a dominant thing. Like, where you're like, oh yeah, he's MVP. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you almost forget about it because of how lackluster they it's really Jokic. were and will be. Yeah, I mean, it really was Jokic. I mean, but I don't know. <laughs> you know, these alerts about uh, whatever. And then also another team that we didn't talk about: Luca and Kyrie. It is a, oh, yeah. a good duo, mm. but do we see them being scary coming up? Maybe I'm top ten. Yeah. I mean, I, know I don't we know why I forgot them. about them. I don't know why I, I forgot know. about them, but no, bro. I can see them being a pretty close duo, like top six or seven, maybe, and maybe, even, and that's just right now. If I could see them climbing up, right? Like, you can't, you can't sleep on either one of them. They both have a very scary game, especially good ISO, and they both pass well. So it's good to you know know like. One can also still be looking for the other one and all of that. As long as they figure out in this offseason how to properly merge their two games, mm-hmm. scary. Scary. Because because yeah. Dallas was already kind of scary before then. I mean, we talked about them last season. Oh, dang. They might, you know, they might make it, you know, to the finals, blah, blah, blah. And that was before Curry ever even was a thought. Like, you know, so I'm not, I'm not I think- you know. I think for them, they have to figure out how how to close at the end. Because you saw, like, the little sample size that we had with them. They had a hard time. No, you would be the one to take it. No, you be the one. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. it's hard for them to, like, take the last shot or who's going to be the closer. So they figure right. out that. Because both of them can close. I think, to me, I would defer to Kyrie in those moments a little bit more. But, um, but yeah, I think once they figure that part out, they're going to be really good. Uh we talk about Grant Williams. He's got picked up over there. Um, I feel like they need another piece. One more piece is missing right there, just to make it like yeah, okay. something top, like a big, top, like a good top. big man. Yeah, I don't know the play the player man. I just don't because we. I think we talked about this or talked probably talked a little about with another person about what piece like a legit piece that it could pick up that make it. 
And I still can't even think of that person. So it's like, yeah, I don't know who will be like a puzzle piece to fit there and propel that team. So, but the duo, I think, yeah, for sure. I think honestly, whoever Kyrie partners up with would be a legit duo. But that's true. Given I mean, greatness with yeah. Kyrie of you know his ability. So, oh yeah, for sure. Um. Yeah, man. This is going to be a fun. good season. So you, got we Gian, already... you got Giannis and Dane in one. What, what did do top yeah. three there? We got yeah. second. Who do we have second? We'll, we'll try to agree. Uh, Giannis and Dane. Um, let me see. I guess. Hey, I kind of want to st- still kind of want to say uh, Jokic and Jamal Murray, I mean, he was averaging 20 and 10 in the finals. Like, I, I I am going to agree as well. I think I left him off my list, but kind of forgot about him as well. Right. It's kind of one of those. It's, it's kind of those team, like, you know, yeah, they won, but, you know, still going to be under the radar going into this season. Like, with so many right. things with off season, like, they might mm-hmm. be one of those, like, you know, First in the West, second in the West, and people just kind of forget about him to the playoffs. And it's like, oh, right. yeah, well, they actually was the finals, you know, winner. So, um, but, yeah, I got them. I got them second now as well. Uh, Jokic the third. MVP almost again, so. Yeah. A third. Third's hard. LeBron AD. I don't think I can go that nah, way. <laughs> nah. I said it and didn't feel good about it. Um, I'm gonna still go with. How, how about KD and Book? Three. I'm not mad at that one. I'll you take that. One. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, I think. The, I think the. That's a the three to watch because, have... but you ain't gonna you ain't gonna say Cat and uh Cat and Brent. No, no, they ain't there. <laughs> no. No, I but go, you know, I, I mean, but, my bad. Anthony a beast, Anthony a beast. So you know, if in the time you want to be a Miami Heat fan or Miami Heat uh, player, uh, please. Um, you already know the coach. You play for him. You know the Heat culture. You say you like the Heat culture, so put a little advertisement out there. You know it's cold in uh, Minnesota. You know how really? Miami get down. Shouts, shouts to Lil Yachty. So, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, they, they. And nice, I think Cat. I don't know. <laughs> Watching him play for uh, is it Puerto Rico, um, I forgot. Or maybe it's uh, Dominican Republic. Yeah, uh, Dr. So I was like, I don't know if he on to. Uh, he looked dominant there, but some of his game just don't translate over to the, the NBA and the aggression sometimes. So I'm like, I don't know. If, yeah, I just can't see it, bro. Um, That's true. They probably like top twelve <laughs> to me, honestly. Top 10, 12. Mm. But yeah, 80, yeah. 80 and LeBron, I just can't give it to them right now. I think just because I get them a four five. I think because we got so much high expectations for that duo and they've been falling, like failing at those expectations. Is that why right. we can't put them higher? Giannis and uh Dane, you know, expectations is is high, but it's kind of like we project them outpacing all that. So it's like that's why we got them. Yeah. Still a fantasy. We haven't actually seen them play together besides the All-Star game. So, yeah, yeah. we don't we'll we don't have nothing to gauge it off of. Um, but, yeah, um, shoot, man, we're going to cut this one a little bit short. Definitely got to split some. But bit. there's more reason we want to talk about, but we'll definitely pick that up on the next episode. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to start. I'm going to just do shout-outs real quick. All right. Let me see. Saw this really cool comic, and y'all know be on the comics, but they're also like turning it into a TV show, like mm-hmm. live action. Um, and it's black, black owned. Um, it looks crazy, and it even was in a this black film festival in Atlanta. Uh, uh it's called Drafted Origins, the series. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's by Concrete Comics with a K. I'll put all that in the description, y'all, like I do, before, you know, every week. This looks bananas. I almost want to put like a little, I might even do it. You know what? Kyle, don't let me forget. 
uh, you put a, <laughs> I'm put the uh, put the preview, put the trailer on there. You know the common misconception about power. Stay out of here. Watch. Hey, Those who have it don't know what to do with it. And those that don't, try and take it. I get shit done just as much as he do. <laughs> Okay. It's, it's it's not like super high budget, but because you know they work on what they got. But if you just think right. about the fact that they doing all this, they adding the special effects and all that, like good storylines, uh, and it's a good comic. So yeah, find all that. Um, definitely, definitely follow them. They're still smaller, but let's 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 get those numbers in for them. Uh, that's all I got. All right, let me see. I'm trying to look for one of mine. Um, I'm just gonna shout out one of the bros. Uh, I shouted him out on an earlier episode, but uh, his name is uh Kyle Heston, uh, one of the former co worker, now true brother friend. Um, you know, avid okay. listener to the uh, he's a huge uh basketball fan as well. He's a Hornets fan, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. he brought with the heat because he liked Jimmy. Hey, that's cool. That's I like the. I like when people have like the obscure fan, like somebody's like, yeah, I'm a Blazers fan or something. Okay. Right. Yeah. So yeah, he he rocking with them. He I know he's been trying to get something going over there, but uh yeah, I just wanna shout him out, bro. We always talk about hoops. We talk about it on the day that we, you know, Dan got traded and all that kind of stuff. So um a lot of people reached out. It's kind of weird when stuff happened with my team, because you know, people feel like they gotta get their condolences and all that. <laughs> it's like, I ain't get traded now. I just like the team. Right. But Right, right. Um, but shout out to my boy Kyle, bro. Okay. Shout out for sure. Um, yeah, man. Uh, so like we said, uh, thank y'all for rocking with us. Uh, definitely run those numbers up for us. Help us out. Um, and yeah, we always asking for guests. So if you ever want to get on the show, it's not hard. Shoot us a text, DM, email the pod, um, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We talk whatever. Um, got a couple of, when we have a little bit more time, I got some, uh, deeper topics I actually been wanting to talk about. It's kind of been on my mind, been in therapy lately. I forgot to mention that at the beginning, we're going back therapy has been a little, been a little something on my, on my brain lately, but right. yeah, semi tough, but you know, we get this, um, but yeah, uh, follow us, follow all the things down there. Um, JC Two Bless, Dino Fit Dennis, and of course Match My Energy Podcast. And shoot, man, we got to make sure we stay on it, man, because I miss doing this yeah. frequently. <laughs> uh, but yeah, especially when we get some more time, I got to go to a baby shower. Uh, True, again, it's that type of season. But yeah, man, uh, shoot, whether we chat like bros or I debate you like an enemy, it's all fun and games. Just match my energy, and we go. Match my energy, just match my energy, yeah.